everyone. Welcome to Artsonia's After School Art Club. Today we have a fun art project from Sarah Farrell, an art teacher from Pennsylvania. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to have your artwork uploaded to your Artsonia gallery. kids, my name is Sarah Farrell and I'm an art teacher at Jarrettown Elementary School which is outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The project that we're going to be making today is a hidden picture design like this one of a pirate's treasure map. Arrgh. Or here I have another one I made. This one features some creepy crawly bugs. Ooh, gross. All right, if you want to make a picture like this, you're going to have to get together a couple art supplies. First off, you're going to need a clear gallon sized plastic bag. Now I say clear because sometimes they have a label printed on the outside of the bag and that's going to get in the way of our picture. Um, if you don't have a big gallon sized bag like this too, you could use a regular sandwich bag. You're just going to have to cut your paper down to make a little mini hidden picture. Um, the other thing that you're gonna definitely need is a permanent marker. Now, black is great for drawing or design, and you certainly could make a whole picture that's just black and white, or what we call monochromatic, some big words there. Um, but on top of that, I also have a pack of colored Sharpies, which is what I use to add the colors to my designs. Um, besides this, you're going to also want um, some white paper and also some black paper and it needs to be able to fit inside of your bag. You're going to need a pair of scissors so we can cut out the flashlight or the uh, magnifying glass that you make later. And then finally, if you want, um, you can also have some other things to color like I use colored pencils to color in my flashlight but you could use crayons or markers or even the colored Sharpies, it doesn't matter. Now lastly, if you want to, ahead of time, you can um, prepare your sketch that you're gonna use. Like here's a rough copy of the garden that I'm going to use um, to make my design on the bag. I did this in pencil on my white piece of paper. Um, you could use whatever you want to draw this, but it's gonna make it a little bit easier to draw my design on the plastic of the bag because you're not gonna really be able to erase with the Sharpie. If you don't wanna draw your own design, another option that you have is to go online and you could find a picture, like here's one of all these crazy critters that I just printed off of my computer. Or if you have a coloring book at home or um, you know, like a children's book and you really like the pictures, you could just take that and slip it inside the bag too. All right, so now that we have all our supplies, let me show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna be making our design right on the plastic of the bag, like you can see in these examples that I have right here. To make it a little bit easier to see what we're doing, I'm gonna take a piece of white paper and slip it inside the bag. Now, it's perfectly fine to take your Sharpie and just draw your picture right on the plastic, but I recommend making some kind of rough copy or using something that you can trace on a regular piece of paper. This is gonna make it so much easier for you to make your design. So like I'm doing here, I have my pencil drawing and I'm just gonna trace right over what I drew earlier with my Sharpie marker. Like I mentioned before, you're not gonna be able to erase the permanent marker if you make a mistake. So having a rough copy drawing like this that you can trace is going to make it so much easier to put your design on the paper. Now, if you don't wanna do a drawing, you definitely could do something like writing a secret message. That would give the same effect in the end as having a drawing. Once you're finished tracing everything or drawing everything with the black permanent marker, now I'm gonna use my colors and start um, filling in the different shapes. Permanent markers are definitely going to give you the nicest colors when you're writing on top of the plastic. They are going to be really solid and bold. So if you can get your hands on them, that's what I would recommend using. Um, you could also use some dry erase markers, but you have to be careful not to wipe them away. Or like here, I'm gonna use just a regular Mr. Sketch and you can see how light it is against the white paper versus this orange permanent marker, which just looks so much brighter and bolder. So I would recommend using the permanent if you can. 
Okay, so just a few finishing touches on my little cute mushroom and my drawing is all done. So next we're gonna sketch out our flashlight and I'm gonna start with my pencil. And to make the light part of the flashlight look 3D, I'm gonna sketch out an oval, come down straight on the sides, and then to connect it, we're not gonna use a straight line, I'm gonna use a curved line to give me that three-dimensional cylinder shape. I'll finish off the handle and add a little switch here, and that's gonna be the basic shape for my, uh, my flashlight. And I'm gonna trace it with my permanent marker and I'm gonna color it in. And if you need to, you can pause the video here or go back so that you can see exactly the shape that you need to draw. Now, I'm gonna be using colored pencils to color in my flashlight, but this is the part where I had mentioned if you use markers or crayons, it doesn't matter. Uh, to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional too, I'm gonna shade in one side of my cylinder flashlight by pressing harder with the colored pencil to make it darker. And I'll also sketch out my beam of light with my yellow color pencil here just to help guide me when I cut it all out, which I'm gonna do right now. So let me grab my scissors. So all I have to do now is cut out my shape, including the beam of light that's coming out of the end of the flashlight. So just give me a second here uh, while I can do that. There we go, including this little tiny notch right there. And then finally to make my beam of light look like it's coming out of a rounded flashlight, I'm going to curve the end like that. There we go. Now, if you don't want to do a flashlight, you could do a magnifying glass like this. So I am going to sketch it out by using a circle or an oval shape for the glass and then a handle. Um, you don't wanna draw your handle too thin because when you cut it out, it's gonna be really flimsy. And then just like I did before with the flashlight, I'm just gonna trace it with my permanent marker and then this time I'm gonna color it in with just regular markers and cut, cut this little guy out too. And then I have my, uh, my magnifying glass. Let's just cut around here and, and there you go. So finally, we're gonna put all our work together. I've taken the white paper out of the plastic bag and replaced it with a sheet of black construction paper. And then we'll slip our little flashlight inside and there you go. It looks like the flashlight is lighting up um, our nighttime garden so we can see all our beautiful flowers. Uh, let me grab the magnifying glass and I'll do the same thing. I'll slip it inside the bag and there's our little flower and our butterfly. Hi, little guy. I just love this cool effect that you can get with these really, really simple art materials. Ooh. All right, so there you have it. That's how we made our hidden picture using some permanent markers and um, a plastic bag and some paper. So I hope everyone had a lot of fun designing and drawing with me and I'll see you all again next time. Until then, this is Sarah Farrell saying goodbye and happy art making.